Checking the time, five to 11. Dogs are here. Stella's got a pack on, slightly wonky, but leader going down a bit. Rebel's over eager. He'll soon calm down when he gets tired. Yeah, there's my view. Gorgeous. No, not a cloud in the sky. And I think they were predicting um, 18, something like that, for a top during the day. But it's got to be 16, 17 now. Easy. This, this little bit of path leads to the start of Kinder Reservoir. And we walk out like a cobbled path on the left hand side. That takes us up. Yeah, really. I think it's quite steep. And like I do it in the winter, I bet it's slippery. Um, this is the one that breaks my back was at the beginning. First half hour. It's a killer. And there's Kinder <laughs> over there. <laughs> Looming above us. Right. Upwards and onwards. Oh, I've got a lot of the gate. Ready dogs? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look bad but it, kill it. it kills you the first little bit. Right, see you in a bit. Got, got to the top of that sloping cover, <laughs> cobblestone path that goes a long way up. Oh, but look at the views. There's another path up there. Do I take that one? Yeah, you take. Let's have a look. Found the higher path I was on about. Had to come out a little path there from where the first path runs along Kinder Reservoir. Through a gate there. And it runs along the top here. Two things. There's a lovely breeze up here. And plus, it's not as messy because down there it's very boggy. Get it! You telling my dog off, he's overexcited at that moment. He'll calm down. But uh, look at the views again. <laughs> They just, and that's where we've got to go up. <laughs> On the video, it probably doesn't look big. But Kinderwood in the middle, maybe it's Pooh, we'll be to the left. Um, Kinder Downpour above it. Uh, Sandy A's right to the left. Um, just got to stop to enjoy the views. Look at the sun glistening off the reservoir there. Absolutely gorgeous. You can't, can't say it enough, can you? A couple of people up here. But, as I say, brilliant for Thursday. And I thought, we'll be skipping work and having sick days and booking days off and everything in advance because they did forecast nice weather for these two days, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday 20th, I think. Of April, sorry. Um, just taking it steady, trying to keep him calm because he's so excited. I have to have my lead when there's sheep about because he's never met a sheep before. Stella! Stella's cleared off and done a runner. Stella! Thank you! <laughs> oh, there's probably water. She found water, I think. Ah, ah. Stay there. We're, right, we've got to go and find water for him. It's hot. Jets flying overhead, jumbos that is. Um, looking down at Kinder Reservoir. Kinder Wood in the middle. Again, Kinder Downfall, above it. Sandy A's, that's where we're going up, but we're going along, as my finger can show, to the left here, there's a gully, it's called William Clough, and it goes up and up and up. It's a nice, gentle, kind of step by step kind of raise. Now, if I went up straight, to that point there. It's called Sandy A's. I'm just going to focus. No? Yeah, there you go. Uh, you can go up there, even though the path doesn't show that much, but it's very steep, especially that last bit. It's like, it seems like a 90 degree angle, so I'm a coward. <laughs> even though it's longer the other way, I'm, getting, I'm taking it nice and easy. You want, to be on, you want to be on Kinder Scout or in the Peak District, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. A few midges about. 
and nice streams, a few streams, little brooks and streams, you know, running through there in between the heather and coming down the hills there. So there shouldn't be a shortage of water anywhere, especially on Kindo there. There's normally a few little uh, waterfalls around there, and then there's the one at Fairbrook uh, Nays down uh, Fairbrook. So that's the one I'll use to get all the good clear water for later on. But just can't get enough of it. I'm so glad I'm back here now. <laughs> I've missed it. Six months have been too long. As I say, very few people about which is unreal, seeing the weather. Alright, on we go down to William Clough, let dog. Past a little footbridge at the junction there of William Clough, uh, where reservoir ends. Rebel come here. Um, not going up San Diego's as say. I'm following along this path all the way up William Clough, it zigzags all the way up. Um, very hot, a few people about here, which I'd expect, but plenty of water about for the dogs and not many sheep about so I don't have to worry about having them on the lead. They're all up the top there. But um gorgeous day, I keep saying it I know. Probably getting on everyone's nose. But it is, it's absolutely brilliant. But I can feel myself burning on my head so I'm gonna have to get my hat out in a bit because Oh, there's the grass. Missed that noise. It's a lovely noise. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to need the hat on in a bit. Uh, protect my head. I've been here before when I've nearly cooked myself. It's not funny. I don't have hurt at night. You don't want to get uh, sunstruck. Dogs, they can cool off in the water. You see, like he's doing this. He's instinctive for him to jump in the water and cool off. And that's what he's doing. And that's what I want him to do. Plenty of fluids, and chilling off, and there's plenty of places further up here where they can actually walk just across it. <laughs> Path's lovely, a oh, boggy little piece, but I mean, whoops, nearly stumbled. <laughs> Look where you're going when you're video. <laughs> um, yeah, good weather, good pack. Shoes are working out. Rebel's slowly calming down. <laughs> it's just one big adventure playground for him. He's never been out. Been hiking all over the place, but. Never done anything like this. This is a big time for him now. He's grown up. He's doing well. I'm sure you'll sleep well later. Look at that. Beautiful. Still in the path. Going up William Clough. Trekked all the way down from up down there. <sighs> no breeze here. That's why I'm puffing. Plate of water, but no breeze. So, the heat or the temperature. <laughs> it feels worse. Dogs are cool enough, lovely, and that's what I wanted. I was worried about Rebel jumping some up these boulders and all that. I shouldn't have. Look at him. He's plowing for it. Fella's doing fine. And he's cooling off, and he's good looking. Him. <laughs> An absolute idiot. But he's having fun. He'll remember this first one. Yeah, I think he's going to sleep well tonight. He's going to fall in the water now. Oh. Right, so I go up there, up there, and all the way to the top there. Oh dear. It's good when it's up there. Still going up, William Clare. You warm? <laughs> yeah, she's warm. He's full of life still. Look at him. <laughs> He's mad. Um, not too bad. It's a bit up and downy. Done it many times, so I know what it's like. Just keep an eye on him. I have to put him in the lead every now and then when the sheep are back. Hey, get away from here. You'll pick up all kinds of things, hopefully, no ticks. Just taking it slow because Stella's carrying the pack. As I say, to refresh my plate and water. But he wants to eat the bush now. I was worried about him getting up here and thought maybe is he, you know, is he right age or whatever. Look at him. <laughs> He's going to be exhausted later on. We've just got that bit to do. It's not bad, does it? <laughs> uh, on the video, I think it's going to look bad. But trust me, it's quite steep, that. Right, let's see you when I get to the top. <laughs> got top of William Clough. <sighs> oh, up here, what a lovely breeze. Not cold, nice and cool, refreshing. Uh, I'll carry on there, bring some in Mill Hill and the Panama Way. What we've got to do is 
that there. Uh, looking at the video, it looks a little hill. Oh, trust me, it's far from a hill. But only a few feet up there. Dogs are done brilliant. Really impressed. Rebel! He's just suffering from a bit of excitement. Hey mate. It's all new to you. I understand. He'll calm down. But yeah, a bit hazy. But there it's gonna be crystal clear. Uh, breeze is dunno, I'm guessing this thing here. It'll be a bit maybe stronger up there, but here about 10, 12, maybe 10. And temperature now with the breeze, much better. Cool down a bit, 17 I'd say, but down there it's 18 and 19 because you're in the hollow, no breeze, and you're just baking. And my head is getting hot, so I will be bringing out the hat when I get on the top. Grab a rest at the top, some drink. Dogs have had plenty of water. It'll be my rest, Stella's rest. Cool down a bit and then we'll carry on the northern edge. So I'll see you when I get up there. It's gonna be fun. Oh, it's a bit to keep there, which is a bit of a stick support you can see some things in there. I did take some photos but I didn't video because it was just too many people there you can talk to yourself. Come for a little foot style there where the fence is, and that's to keep the sheep over that side as you can see there's some sheep up there. Black Ash up more in front of us and right in the distance. I don't know if you can see where them you can see Snake Pass. Can you call some Snake Pass? It's probably very noisy here because we've got a strong breeze. But we're heading along track so far, but it's disappears along the edge here, which is the northern edge. Towards the uh, no wind. You can talk better this time. Um, come along the edge here, just down about first half mile from wind, it's just on the edge overlooking Wind Hill. Um, back out Ashup Moor ahead of us, Snake Pass in the far distance, and then beyond that, Fleet Low. We're heading along this northern edge all the way to Fabric Nays. Top up with water there because it's always crystal clear and it's lovely and nice cold. And then we're going to look for a pitch. Might go along Seal Edge or we might cut into the moor. I'm just going to look for a good because the pack's so light this time. I can actually explore for a better pitch. Whereas normally I'm trying to dump the pack as soon as possible because it's been a hard slog. I must admit, apart from the temperature, which is very hot today. That UV's working, I tell you. I've got my hat on, as you can see it. <laughs> um, and that's much better for a start. My head won't burn. Dogs, I'm going to stop where there's a... I stopped back there, but there was no water source. There is a few little kind of waterfalls on the way. A bit murky, but the dogs are cool off, soaking them and splash and gone as well. Um, I have another water break, and then I'll proceed to... Fabric Nays to start filtering some water and get some platypus and soya bags filled up. And the tracking ain't bad. Things have dried out a lot. I don't know if you can see down there. My tracking post just pointing. I doubt if you'll fo it'll focus on down there. But that's the wreckage of a Saab jet. That, I can't remember what year crash. It might be 52, 55. Two of them collided over the top there. There's some wreckage of one on the top there, and the wreckage of the other one down there. And there's a track laid down there with the names of the pilots that died. Uh, quite a few plane crashes over the years around here, and look, we've got the modern jets flying over today. They all come in low for Manchester, which is over that vaguely over that way. They've got a compass out so I can tell. So yeah, everything's going beautiful today. Yeah, making our way along this. <sighs> beautiful day. 
I could not have picked better conditions. Spotless. Cool breeze. Now it's dropped round here about eight. Eight miles an hour I'd say, not even ten. Um but it's refreshing. If you sat here with the heat and it's cool breeze, you'd be perfectly relaxed. Um and it's cooling the dogs off when I stop them. So that's good. Because I don't want the last thing I want is rubble getting over. It's so exciting it gets he gets like dog heat stroke. <laughs> So there is little brooks and streams. There will be better ones, Fairbrook, and then we'll go to Fairbrook where there's plenty of water. Um, so yeah, right. Catch you in a bit. And on to Fairbrook Nave. I've managed to find a little bit of water for them at the moment. So they've topped up. I've drank the last of my bottled water, so I'm fine. Fairbrook Nave ain't far away. There's a lovely waterfall there. Unless it's suddenly dried up, which it never has before. Um, temperature getting hotter. It's easily 20 degrees now. Breeze is dying down. Midges are around, but they don't seem to be bothering us at the moment. Don't know why. I'm sure they'll find someone to bother us then. Um, doing too well. Time is 10 to 2. Doing too well in the time. But we're going to crash out of February nice for a good three quarters now at least and then go back up look for a pitch take our time rest under some stands there's a great big outcrop up there with shade and wait till it gets later all right catch you in a bit made it to Fairbrook nearly up past two well early too early but uh lovely cool breeze around here great views I'll have to find somewhere to pitch. I don't know where I'm going today. Be somewhere safe, somewhere sheltered, somewhere decent. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go down Fairbrook, which is pretty tra treacherous at times. Take our time going down. I can see the water. If that's clear water, I might go all the way down. I might go there. Hmm, that's the point, isn't it? Right. And see, top up, clean up, get a load of water, get dogs replanned, I'll replant, I'm now empty. And then rest for a good hour. And then might trek over on Seal Edge along here and have a look for a spot. Or we might cut back over there towards the back end of Fairbrook Nights. Nice. Just look around, explore, take it nice and steady. Not going to go far and pitch around four or five. Still got plenty of time. All right, I'll catch when I get down the bottom. Hey, made it down Fairbrook. Come to a normal spot because plenty of water up the top running down, but it was very peaty. By the time it's come all the way through these rocks and through the ground and natural filtering, here. The water is a little bit cloudy today. Definitely not polluted. Um, that's how it's looking when it's in the before it's filtered. And look, that's how it's coming out when it's filtered. The bubbles are from some got a raspberry flavour. The remains of what I've had in fact that's good. But um, that's clear. That's not bad at all, I'm happy. Dogs are resting now. Stella's obviously tired, she's carried that pack, so... And she's getting old now. So I'm letting them rest. Maybe Rebel will actually rest. When I used to have Guinness here, she'd never rest. I was towed by two gentlemen. There's a dead sheep down there, so good job I won't filter in any way down there. So, you've got to be careful. You never know what's up along the water stream. But there's only so much you can do. I've drank out of this, as I say, once without uh, filtering it at all. I don't, wouldn't advise that, and you shouldn't do it because you can't see what kind of bacteria is in the water. But uh, I was desperate that week. <laughs> but I won't be doing that again. I've got good filters. I think it was because of soya in the past. 
so slow, the flow rate, that I got frustrated and I was dying for a drink. Uh, I took a field anal analogy bowl and drank straight from that. But uh, yeah, it's not, not advisable because you don't know what's upstream. Or in this case, along that water waterfall, it's coming all the way down. Could be dead vermin. Could be another dead sheet or it's not. So you've got to be very careful. Um, I'll soon find out tonight <laughs> if I get stomach cramps and start running out of the tent. But apart from that, I've never had any problems. So, resting now. I'd like a bit more shade, but can't really find any around here. But it's plenty of water so the dogs can jump in and top up, cool off. And that's what I want to tell her today because she looks knackered now. Or should I say worn out is a better way to put it. Meanwhile, Rebel's eating rabbit poop. Rebel, leave that alone. Leave it. Leave the rabbit poop alone. It might have the, uh, worms. It's not for you. Leave it. <laughs> Is he stubborn or what? Hey! Leave it alone. I don't know why they like rabbit poop. Why would you like rabbit poop? Stupid dog. So, packs here, status packs there. I'm going to be filtering in a bit. I'm just having a little rest in a minute. I'm going to sit on one of these rocks. Just listen to the water. And then we've got to go right back up there. Never enjoyable, but as I say, this time the pack's less. So it's still going to be hard work, but hey, can't mind it all the time, can you? Rebel! I'm going to kill him. Go and kill my dog. Right, catch in a bit. Got my tent bitched. <laughs> that was fun. I found a lovely area just further up. One of them grass. Or grass, whatever they call them. And uh, it was like a coffin shaped recess. So someone's obviously had a tent there before. So I thought, hey, I'll steal their, <laughs> their spot. But my mountain equipment Tundra 2 tent is slightly bigger and it just was not pitching straight or anything. I tried all kinds of ways, so in the end I said no, move out into the open air. Uh, and here yeah, it's a bit clumpy, the grass is clumpy, so you know, you're not going to get a perfect pitch. But it don't look too bad. It's very similar to the Hilleberg Nalo, more or less in size, height, and everything. Except the Nalo as a vent low down here now tonight that would be no good for me I've got the vent up there which is much better it's coming over the wind's coming over from over up there so it's hitting the tent in the back there lovely it's brand new got it on uh, old eBay or flea bay and uh, never been used and this company don't no longer makes tents so got a good deal there. When they were making them, they were £375. That was like 2009. But as I say, it's brand new. I've tucked up the front door. But look at that. As you can see in there. Plenty of space for me and two dogs. And the moment it's quite warm. I'm letting everything cool down. I'm going to feed the dogs in a minute. I'm going to have some dinner and let the night cool down. I've got a ground sheet at the bottom, which I didn't pull all the way back because we won't be using the very back bit. Um, ground is a bit damp in some places, but it's not wet or anything like that. It's had a lot of rain probably over the past. Um, got to put a sleeping bag in there, dog sleeping bag in there. So that's two sleeping bags, mine and theirs. And mine's uh, uh, more or less a winter one. <laughs> You too, leave that. They're eating something someone else has left. Like it looks like dog food, I think. I hope they don't get bad stomachs. Um so uh I've got another ground sheet inside to protect the ground uh the tank ground sheet because dog nails and all that moving about. It's a bit overkill but you know, it's better safe than sorry. I didn't know, this is the first time I've actually put this tent out in real life. I've done it in the garden, but it's a totally different thing when you... I mean, when I started putting this out, it was quite blustery, but now it's cooling down. It's about 
three minutes to six. Uh, it always happens about this time. Midges out here haven't bothered me, touch wood. But they are about. But obviously this little breeze is keeping them at bay. Um, and that's my view. Not bad, is it? I would like, I could have probably pitched over there. I've just seen, there's my finger. I've seen some clumps there, but the path is running somewhere around here. So I don't want to be, just in case in the early hours or whatever, people do fell run as you get at night and all that. And same in early in the morning, Friday morning, we might get people running around. I don't want to be right on their trail. Um, there's further at Nays over there. It, it looks further away than it is on this video. But I can walk around here. Dogs have got plenty of room to run around. I'm out of the way of people. And as I say, the tent's not too bad. Let's see what it looks like from behind, uh, from far away. Obviously it's going to shimmer, but... Uh, I don't think it's going to stand out like a sort of fun. We came up from Kinderbrook, as, you, as I said earlier. Oh, that was a slug. Even with a light pack bar, it's carrying four litres of water. Don't look bad, does it? That blends in. I'm quite happy with that. I'll look for that. Don't look too badly pitched from here. As I say, if the ground was, you can see it's probably on a little lump. It looks level there. But it's finding a pitch very hard when you're out in this kind of moorland and tufty grass. So you can see the clouds just jumping up underneath the tent. Eight years, ten to eight, sun setting. Or, well, if I go a little higher, it probably isn't. But uh, it's not far off now. I reckon about quarter past, twenty past eight, it'll be gone. So, and there's a chill in here. I've got my. Uh, Rab Nebula. Uh, it's, it's it's not down. It's uh, some I don't know what you call it, synthetic or what. But it's lovely and warm. I don't get no chew on this. Uh, add chocolate. Uh, chocolate. Add fruit cake. And the dog stole my fruit cake. But they didn't literally jump up. But I mean, they sat there drooling at the mouth, as though they'd never been fed all day. And uh, I had to give him some of my cake. So, not happy. <laughs> Only joking. Uh, I picked out, I've had uh, that chicken tikka, but fruit cake, I've had a couple of cups of co mugs of coffee. And uh, I feel yummy. I didn't realise how hungry I was until I had that chicken tikka and then when I was eating, I mean, I've been drinking all day. Um, I ate about 10 o'clock, half past 10. Didn't have lunch, but I'd picked out. Right, Stella, leave it. And uh, what have they got now? Leave it. Finding dead things everywhere. Leave it. Go. I don't know what it is. Mountain hare. Remains of a sheep. Um, or even a grouse. I don't know what it was. It looked like a um, breastbone. So I guess it's some kind of bird. And it's the same, yeah. I didn't realise how hungry I was. And so I had that chicken tea going. It literally, my stomach was out when I was eating it. So I realised then I'd... Uh, kicked out too much energy and not replanned. But I didn't feel hungry before that. So it just shows the adrenaline and the excitement and fun. Stella, you're supposed to be tired. You were looking tired a minute ago. They never get tired, I don't think these dogs. Look at them. They've had uh, their dog food. They've found some dog food. Hopefully it's okay. Don't know how long it's been, it looked fresh enough. That someone walk or whatever tried to give it to the dog and the dog hadn't eaten. They found a few bones, which I'm not happy about because I don't know what what it was. They've had my fruit cake and now they're still scrounging. <laughs> and they've been worms, so it's not worms. Um so it's like this is the weird bit, isn't it? You've done all the walking. 
Done all the filtering of water, fed the dogs, some of you have if you've gone out with your dogs. Um, you're eating, you've had something else on top of that, like some sweets or some snacks or whatever. You've got your tent ready, and look how quick that bag's puffed up. I don't know, it might get cold tonight, it's gone quite chilly now. Hope the dogs are going to be alright. I've got a hunker, uh, Alpit, Alpkit hunker bivy bag. It's one of the extra large, I can just throw it over the dogs and it'll t keep the chill off their backs. Um, so that's all set up. I've got a head torch in there, all charged up. I will be charging this burn out in a bit. Um, so yeah, it's like, everything's done. I don't want to go in the tent yet, and dogs look. They don't look like ready to go in. I think I've done enough walking. So I'm just yapping on this phone. <laughs> I'm probably boring everyone. <laughs> Getting really hazy out now, and the sun has gone. Look at these jets, hundreds of jets over here during the day. Yeah, you're going to be sick, are you? I won't be surprised. I think he's eating. Right, that's me done for tonight. I shall see you in the morning. God knows what will happen. I hope, hopefully. I thought I might be too hot, but maybe I'm not. You know, it's gone quite chilly now. So, next concern is with the dogs. Hopefully they don't get too cold tonight. Because, I've, all I've got is a sleeping bag and I knew I was going to chuck the hunk, hunk of booby over them, so. But I reckon when I hunker down in there, it'll be nice and warm. Rebel will leave. Just trying to chew the peg now, tent peg. So, that's me done. I'll see you in the morning. I rambled long enough and probably got on all your nerves. <laughs> But I just, you know, I just wanted to show you what I get up to. With the dogs, it's crazy. But it's also great company, good security. These dogs are protecting, well, Stella's a protecting dog, so I've got no problems with anyone coming across at me at night. Animals, all people. Um, and it's fun. And that's what it's all about in that wild camping. Getting out, getting fresh air, getting away from the rat race and having some fun. Right, see you in the morning. The rent is over. Bye dogs, say night night. <laughs> They're off on another excursion. I'll be probably knocking it on the head in about half an hour because it is getting chilly now. Right, see you in the morning. Look at that cloud. It's just gorgeous. Lovely. Um, tent held up well. Really impressed with the tent. Good quality. Um, wasn't cold at all. Except probably you could feel the chill at this time in the morning, about last hour or so. Um, dogs slept all right. Um, the one thing <laughs> I found was. Rebel doesn't like tents. <laughs> I said to him, come on in, come in. And he wouldn't come in. Typical, isn't it? Um, I drag him in, and then once he was in, he was fine. Very chilly at the moment. All this cloud is blowing over, thank God. Once this burns over, the sun really gets up a bit higher. It should warm up a lot. I'm going to have coffee, feed the dogs. And... Uh, Start packing up. Oh dear. Hey, uh, the other thing I brought with me, I forgot to mention yesterday. Mat. It's rated as one of the best mats they say, and I tell you what, I got about five to six hours sleep last night. I never sleep. So, you know what I mean? I'm well impressed with that as well. So, everything I've kind of got into. Look at that, we're just missing that mist. Look, 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 look how near it's getting. I don't know, we might get covered in a minute. So, this is what they say, uh, you try and tell me, if you know, that day of expense, you can be on these moors, and it can be clear like that, and you think, yeah, no problem. And next bit, look at the mist on here, crawling in over the over the heather there. 
I mean, look, Fairbrook Nays, which is only up there, it's disappeared there. And that's all moving through. So, you know, people can easily stray too far from the tents. Kind of think, oh yeah, I know where I'm going. When, in fact, you can walk too far from the truth. Get him a coffee. <laughs> came by a minute ago, came right through, look at it, got a pea super over there. But uh, we've got the clear spot. <laughs> oh good spot that was. And the sun disappeared, even the sun disappeared for a bit. Look at that. It just like covers an area. Daylight, like here, sunlight, yeah, look, crystal clear, all round us, except for that little man at the middle channel where we are. Must be the way the breeze is going. We've got to go <laughs> that way. <laughs> so, unbelievable, I love it. It's just changing scenery and conditions, it's so beautiful. See the clouds in the valley there. It's awesome. Well, fed the dogs. Got my uh, coffee in there. Got some protein bars there. Coffee's there, ready to be put in. Hot water. Didn't bring a windscreen, weight conscious as I get them. So I normally find stones and make my own kind of man made one. But I'm using this kind of shelter here. It's not very stable, but so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, clean up, and then start packing up. And I think it's I'm having a look now. Oh, it's half past six already. I'll be setting off about quarter past seven. It won't take that long to pack up. I'm gonna dry the tent off with a chamois on the outside because it's got a lot of dew on it. Inside, none, no uh, condensation at all. Brilliant. And there was me and two dogs. I closed up. About, I got up at three o'clock to have a look around. And let dogs have a wee. It was clear skies, um, pitch black, obviously. Um, but uh, it was getting chilly, so what I did is I closed the front door up, so there was no air coming in at all. It was just a rear vent, and that seems to work brilliantly. Otherwise, I think we'd have been a bit too chilly. I did chuck uh, the hunker bivy bag over Stella. She was looking like a bit cold. She was shivering a bit. So uh, she always feels the cold. It's weird. So that resolved that problem. Rebel, because he's got his longer hair, he didn't seem to be bothered at all. All in all, he doesn't seem to be bothered. Except for tents. <laughs> he wasn't even going to get in it the first time. I had to drag him in. He looks a bit saggy now because he's probably loosened a bit. But I'll tell you what, it's, it's done really well. There's about six inches between the fly and the inner. That's why you, I think you can see around now on the sides. It's brilliant. So you, you, you don't get any touching. And that's the second time I've done it. First time was in the, the garden, so I'll get better and better at pitching now and find a better spot. It's just a learning curve, isn't it? Right, get a bit gloomy around here. The sun's disappearing again. Right, I'm gonna have my coffee. No, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye. Say goodbye, son. Check. Five past eight, gonna be moving out in a minute. Just showing you where we were. No trace left, as always. Um, that was the sleeping area. And I ate over here. Nothing left at all. And uh, not even dog food. Oh, sorry. really bad and it's going to come back you can see it over there coming back um, so luckily I know the trail see it moving there <laughs> unbelievable look at it it's coming in over the behind us here so I know the circuit back I think it's nice and steady I, was, I took time bringing the tent down because I wanted to uh, let it blow over but it looks like it ain't going to blow over look at it coming down at us now so it's quite fun it's good fun Try away too bad. Um, just gotta be careful you don't run off one of the edges thinking there's more land because he's that stupid. 
Right, it's five past eight and we'll be setting off. Um, ready to go. Dogs are ready. In your dogs. But you're getting chilly there, weren't you? Yeah. Right. I'll see you along the travels if it's not clear. If not, I'll see you back when I get back into the car. This is getting really bad now. A minute ago I came in, it was that bad. You, you couldn't see about 50 metres. And the wind's about... I don't know, 15, 20 miles now. It's it's coming quite strong now, uh, and it's quite cold. <laughs> so once you're walking, you're fine. So sorry, I apologise for that. If you can't hear a word I'm saying, there's not much I can do. Right, I'll see you back in the car. Conditions are uh, <laughs> not very clear. Let's put it like that. Cloud has come right down. It's not fog, I think it's cloud. And there's quite a drop in there. <laughs> Rebels here, I'm keeping up. Hey, 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 don't get near, get near to the edge. He probably thinks there's ground down there. Stella's here. You're working like a tree, are you, Stella? The sun's over there trying to come through. I just saw him uh, perched up on a, right, a high spot where it's pitched. Wow. He must be cold up there. But there's nothing, nothing to see. So. Can't do much filming anyway. It's just the fog and it's all blown up now. It's, uh, it looks like smoke. Hey, get away! Keeps going to the edge. <laughs> oh, I'll kill him. Right, I'll catch you later if there's anything to film because I doubt if we're going to see much. Just having a breather. Time is nine o'clock nearly. I'm getting warm. I've got. I'm wearing a. A nab, a rab, <laughs> sorry, I'm tired. A, a rab Neo Alpine jacket. It's very, very thin, but it doesn't matter what kind of thing you wear. When you've got a pack on, you start jumping up and down stones, dodging peat bogs. You still soon get warm, so I'm just cooling off a bit. I don't want to get um, sweaty. Because then you start, when you do stop, you start feeling more. Hey, get away from the edge, you two. Uh, sadly, the weather's not cleared up. Oh, good. Apart from that wild camper I saw back there, which he looked like he's still sleeping, um, I haven't seen no one else. I tell you how foggy or cloudy it's been. My beard has got droplets on. <laughs> yeah, the jacket hasn't. That's weird. That's weird. Dogs are doing great. What do you call it? Revel thinks it's uh, a game, I think. He's always on the hunt for some food. Look at him. He's just checking out, just in case there might be some dinner in there for him. <laughs> Stella's pack's a bit wonky because it's lost all its weight. It's got a lead, I've got to sort out a belt there. Back to, probably about another hour, and we'll be back to the car. Easy enough going, but I just don't want to sweat. I might even take the coat off. I don't know how I feel this out of me, if I start feeling, get chilly. Hey, get here. Saw the bird, he might have jumped over, over the edge for the bird. Right, see a bit later on. Doubt if anything's gonna happen now. Shame, views from here are absolutely stunning of Black Ash up more normally, but uh, you can't have everything. I had a great day yesterday. I'm not going to complain. And this is this is fun. This is different. The crowds are telling us off. <laughs> so get away from our area. Love that sound. But anyway, I'll catch you later. That's nine. Still murky. Very foggy. No cloud. Coats off. No coat on me. It was, I was getting too warm. Well, it's been a little. I'm trying to think of a nice word. Sod. That'll do. <laughs> and Stella, it's working her heart out carrying this back. Good girl. Still lopsided. Never works. But uh, we're nearly approaching the bit that overlooks Mill Hill and is the final end of the edge here. And then we'll turn left and follow along to San Diego's and go down San Diego's. But um, no black ash at more today. Just so foggy. It's 
terrible. You're having fun, don't you, dogs? He's trying to eat everything. <laughs> Look at him. You won't believe we did nine miles yesterday and we'll do about five today. Maybe six by the time we get back to the car. You won't think it, will you? Yeah, I've got to sort your pack out, Stella. Right, that's in a bit. Sandy A's. <laughs> Not much of it, though. I can't see anything. See a couple of hikers. I, know, I bet they're doing normal circuits, they do. A lot of fit enough. There's the path we've got to go down. Somewhere down there is Kinder Reservoir. I'm hoping there's some sunshine down there. Because there's none up here. Hey, Rebel. Stay in. Cocky. Sit. Thank you. Yeah, stay there. Oh, stop. There's the dog from San Diego. Oh dear. I kind of stop a couple of times. It, it's cleared a bit now. At times it got that misty that you do, you couldn't even see where the path was going. And your mind plays tricks. It says like you passed where San Diego's is, and I knew I hadn't. So I kept persevering, but a couple of times I had doubts. But no, earlier on on the moor, I followed a track. I took my eyes off for about 10 seconds with the dogs and cars and rebels running off somewhere. And I was following a defined track, which obviously had branched off, and then all of a sudden it ended in a peak quagmire, and I realised, oh, you sod, you know, I kind of had straight off. So I doubled back, so that cost me about 10 minutes. Silly, then I had to refine the track. But at times it's been really, really misty out there. I mean, now you can see about 100, 150 metres, but at times you couldn't even see 50. It, it kind of blows in, a great big wispy cloud bursts. Hey, leave that. Thank you. Right, we've got to go down and I've got to keep an eye on him. Hey, get here. Full of life still. <laughs> Don't know where it gets in from. Hey, sit, sit. I'm saying sit. I don't know why. You're doing good. Stella's doing brilliant. She really works. Catch you when I'm down the bottom. Say bye. Rebel, say bye. Look how different it makes. <laughs> a few feet. Come back. About 100, 200, maybe 300 feet. You see the cloud all up there. And all of a sudden we've got visibility down here. You can see it from quite a way. Unbelievable. No sun though. Shame. But uh, much better. Easier going as well now. It's good to see where you go. <laughs> Surprising. And Kinder Reservoir. Man, no, not much wind here. I'd say about five to eight mile an hour up there. It's getting near 20, 25 at times. On the northern side. On the southern side, it seems to be sharp for a change. This is just the top of Kinder Woods there. See you when I'm down. I'll be back in the car. The car is just straight trekking now. Down to William Clough where the bridge is. I'm going over the brook there. And uh, along the reservoir and back to uh, the car. Have something to drink and eat. Probably feed the dogs as well. I'll see you down there. Back down. Kind of reservoir in front of us. You can see how the cloud was up in the mountains. It's, it's cleared out on that bit up there. That's where we come down from, up there. Up here, got a muddy foot. <laughs> Have to get a muddy foot, don't you? Oh, the mud up there is just too bad. Uh, Rebels now on lead because there's people back. Hey, enough. Six. Thank you. He's got to go on lead now because he's too impatient. But no sun, sadly. But nice and cool down here. Not even a breeze. <sighs> Not far to the car now. Right, I'll see you back when I get back. I got back about 10 minutes ago. And it was 20 past 11. Not too bad at all. I just noticed you can see Kinder right in the background there. Seems to be clearing up. It's 